There was some uh, there was some big news out of Washington yesterday. It was announced that the Donald Trump uh, the, the Donald J. Trump Foundation, which is the Trump family's charity, is shutting down. Yeah. He's shutting down his charity right before Christmas. <laughs> I mean, if Trump wasn't going to be visited by three ghosts on Christmas Eve before, he definitely is now. <laughs> Apparently, Trump says he's closing the foundation because he already has his hands full with too many other charity cases, like Eric, Donald Jr, <laughs> Ivanka... Not Tiffany, not Tiffany. She's out on her own, and she knows that. Uh, but get this, and this is true, the Attorney General says that they can't shut down the charity because it's currently being investigated. Which I think means, like, I can only guess that when they heard Trump was doing something nice for other people, they were like... <laughs> this sounds suspicious. We need to investigate. Now, as you all know, it's two days before Thanksgiving, so, of course, that means today was the annual presidential turkey pardoning at the White House. The president pardoned two turkeys today and then immediately criticised them on Twitter for not being <laughs> grateful enough. <laughs> During the ceremony, I don't know if you saw it, uh, try, he, Trump tried to, he sort of tried to make a joke about overturning Obama's pardons from last year, at which point the turkeys in front of him were just like, you know what, just kill us, just kill us now. <laughs> enough I even got chosen to come here to meet you. Uh, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> I love the idea of thinking of the other turkeys. <laughs> They're like, no, we're, yeah, you're getting pardoned. Yeah, sorry, guys. You've got to meet <laughs> Donald Trump. What? No. Kill me. <laughs> moving on to more festive news. Yesterday, Melania Trump welcomed the official White House Christmas tree. Uh, we got a photo here. Look at that. That poor... <laughs> that poor, lifeless thing. Standing behind the tree. <laughs> the Christmas tree, the White House tree, it came from a tree farm in Wisconsin, although it was a clean trade. The White House got the tree, the tree farm got Donald Jr. I think we've got a picture. There he is there. He's... <laughs> no, he'll be happier there. He can run, he can play, he can stare at things, you know. <laughs> Meanwhile, uh, Donald Trump's website is selling a Christmas version of its Make America Great Again hat. It's embroidered with Merry Christmas on the back. It's the perfect gift for someone who has everything. Sorry, check that. Hates everything. It's the perfect <laughs> gift for someone who hates everything. This is the hat that says, I love Christmas, but can't stand snowflakes. <laughs> the hat has... It's got, it's got holiday lights on the front, making this the first time you'll ever see Donald Trump with a light bulb over his head. <laughs> and finally, some odd news out of the Vatican. Yesterday, while meeting with traffic police in Italy, Pope Francis urged them to show mercy to people who commit traffic violations. <laughs> now... The Pope is worried about people getting speeding tickets. I feel like the world has so many other problems <laughs> that we'd rather he focus on right now. I wonder what's recently changed in his life. The Pope has a new ride. Look at this. A special edition Lamborghini Huracan was a gift for the Pope.